Hello ladies, I'm back with the tutorial today. Um, today I will be using the limited edition uh, Wet n Wild Fauna collection. And the Fauna collection again is this one right here with like a peachy champagne color, a turquoise, and a purple. And I'm, I'm using natural sunlight so it's kind of like washing the color out. But this is the look I came up with. I don't know if you can really see it. And I did this side of my face. And now I'm going to do this side with you guys. I already did my eyebrows. And I prepped my eyes. Oh, you can barely see it with the uh, Elf Eyelid Primer. I use this all over my eye, even on my eyebrows when I um, do my eyebrows. I put this on first all over from the eyebrow all the way down to underneath my um, eyelid. And then I went over my eyelid with my white uh, NYX eyeshadow base and that has already been done on this eye first I'm going to use my transition color I always um, pretty much use um, this brown from the vanity palette if you can notice that's the only one with like a big dip in it so I'm probably just going to hit pan on that one color so I'm going to use my e.l.f. blending brush right there and get a little bit of product on and just go in between my crease area right there. Okay then first I'm going to take, um, well next I'm going to take the e.l.f. dollar eyeshadow brush and I'm going to use this the, the eyelid color I mean the brow bow color and go against my brow bone these colors are very powdery but you yeah you can just make sure you tap off the excess or blow it off so you won't have that much fallout on your eyes hope you guys can see this Next, I'm gonna use the same brush and wipe it on my um my rag that I use um, when I do my uh, makeup, and just clean it off. And then I'm gonna take this the purple color right there, and place that all over my lid. And I'm patting it on to pack the color on because, like I said, it is powdery and I want to get a good color payoff with this because this purple is kind of sheer, but I want that color to be emphasized the most because it's my favorite color and it's the main color that I'm wearing today. So I'm going to put that all across there. and kind of bring it up to the crease and then we're going to take the blending brush again and just blend that in with the blending color to get rid of the harsh lines okay. next I'm going to take the, the defining eye brush it's just like a small angle brush like that and I'm going to take the middle color and look just to show how powdery this is, one tap and I have a lot of color on there. That was just one simple tap. So what I'm going to do is kind of like go from the outer corner of my eye and create kind of like a wing or like a defined crease right there and I want to put some of that color right across the crease area you got to do a lot of blending with this also and just go across like that and then I'm going to go back with my crease brush my blending brush I'm sorry and blend that in I hope you guys can see this and then I'm going to add some more color 
you lose some color when you um when you blend but you can always go back and add more this is hard to do this on camera I'm sorry I'm trying you guys And I'm gonna blend some more. And all I did was tap uh, my blending brush on that same turquoise color. And now what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go back in because I I want that purple to stand out um, more. I'm gonna get my um, eyeshadow brush again and go over that purple and I'm also go again with um, my brow bone color kind of blend that down also Okay. Now what I'm going to do is, like I said, I primed underneath my eye, so I'm gonna take that same angle brush and pick up a little bit more color, and I'm gonna go underneath my um, bottom lash line. And kind of like connect it with the color at the top also. Okay. Next, what I'm going to do is use um, my Elf sponge brush. It looks like that. I'm gonna take that brow bone color, kind of like go in my inner tear duct, and in the beginning portion of my bottom lash line, and blend it with that turquoise, and bring it up a little bit. Putting like a, a highlight color in your um, tear duct area kind of opens your eyes. And even though I have big eyes, I don't mind. I like the way it looks. It gives you that awake effect. So this is what we have so far. Next, I'm going to take my Maybelline Defining Line in Ebony Black. I've, you've probably seen this before in my tutorials. I'm going to line my bo bottom waterline and I'm going to tight line my upper lash line. I don't know if this is how everyone do, does their tight line, but this is what I do. So you have to find a technique that... Um, really works for you. I'm a very ticklish person so I, it took me a while to get adjusted to doing my t my top line because I would flinch so much and mess up because I'm just that ticklish which is crazy. So basically it's just your top borderline just going um, beneath that and that gives you a more dramatic effect to me when you um, do a black eyeliner on top tight line in that um, underneath and um, the uh, mascara gives you a more bold effect. Next I'm going to take um, my Maybelline Ultra Liner. You guys this is the truth. I just started using this and I usually just use felt tip. This has like a mini brush right there and I'll just give you a swatch. It's right there and you guys if you wash your face like if you don't use a cleansing wipe and you just wipe your face you will still have this left on your face it's waterproof and it lasts all day so I'm gonna try my best to do this on camera this is really hard but I'm gonna just hold on first before I do that always have like a, a makeup wipe to go and clean up anything that you need to clean up so I just got some of that access that was on the outer part and I actually have some fallout 
on my nose. So I'm gonna take this. Hope you guys can see. See, I kind of messed up right there, but kind of go over it again to even it out. Oh gosh, I'm just like really. wing liner which I always do and I can kind of see that this side is thicker than this so I can you can always go back and correct it to kind of even it out next I'm going to use um, my Almay dial up and this is the one I was talking about from a previous video that you use this and um, you don't really need um, false lashes but you can still wear them if you choose to So I just go my top lashes and I go across my bottom I'm going to go across my top lashes one more time and you can get this at the Dollar Tree if you can if you're lucky enough to find it because I got these a while back on the Dollar Tree. But um, when I was at Sephora this past week or so, or when I did that Sephora haul, they still had this. So I don't know how long they're going to carry it, but Sephora is the only regular retailer that I've seen this still being sold. So next, I'm gonna take my Sally Girls highlighter, and this was this one is in soft lights. And you guys, you have to be light handed with this because I don't know if you can really see you you don't need much I'm going to take the elf fan brush and just lightly go across the top of my cheekbone and I also go in the middle of my nose and at the bottom of my chin you can do your cupid's bow but I already have full lips so I don't really find a need to do that and out of the same set, I'm going to take um, the blush that it came with, Pearlescent Pink in 831E. And I'm going to use the Elf blush, blush Brush right there. And I usually wear a heavy blush, so I'm not doing this just for tutorial purposes. That's just something that I personally like. And last but not least, I use the Glassy Gloss Lip Gel in 11, 311A that came with it. Since I have a dramatic lip, I thought I would go kind of neutral with the lip. I'm not sure if I'm going to change the lip up, but this is what I have so far. And it's kind of shiny. But, yeah. So this is the look that I came up with once again using the Wet n Wild Fauna and see my eyeliner is not the same I hate that but I'm going to fix it. So let me know what you guys think and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.